two of The Emerging Runner. One of the great things about being a runner in the 21st century is that we have all this great technology that helps us track our running performance. I rely heavily on the Garmin FR35. It's a great running watch. It has lots of features, captures a lot of information. In fact, it captures so much information, I didn't even realize what it did until I uploaded my first run to Garmin Connect. Of all the data captured by my Garmin, the metric that's most interesting to me is my heart rate. Heart rate tells you an awful lot of things about your performance. A high heart rate can be very concerning if it goes beyond a certain point. To calculate your maximum heart rate, take the number 220 and, and subtract your age. That's the maximum number of beats that you should be seeing. Anything after that, you're in the danger zone. A high heart rate doesn't necessarily mean there's an issue though. When we're really, really pushing ourselves, say in a race or when you're doing intervals, you expect to see it go high and that's okay. We're built for that. We're runners and we're conditioned. The issue that I've been seeing a lot lately is that my watch is arbitrarily giving me super high rates or super low rates. I don't think it's me and I'll tell you why. I tested it. I started seeing my heart rate spike to almost 90% of max within 30 seconds to a minute after I started my run. I knew that couldn't be right. I know what it feels like to be running at 90% max heart rate and I wasn't feeling it. Your first minute or so you're really kind of acclimating to aerobic running, you're starting with kind of anaerobic. You don't feel so great. I don't push myself that hard. And so I was thinking, is there some weird trigger that's going on? So the other day I accepted that that heart rate was going to spike. And so I waited it out and it dropped. I recorded it all and captured it. And this graphic shows you the results. This chart shows my heart rate and my pace for a run I did on Saturday. As you can see, my heart rate spiked over 140 beats per minute within the first minute or so. I wasn't really working that hard and I certainly didn't feel like I was that close to max. After a bit it settled down and heart rate and pace were pretty closely coupled. About midway through the run, you can see that my pace slowed down, but my heart rate went up for no reason or no reason that I felt. At the end, I ran some intervals just to see if there would be some correlation between heart rate and pace. Well, my pace went up precipitously, but my heart rate didn't really move. That told me one thing. My heart rate monitor wasn't accurate. So at this point, I don't know what to believe but I know I don't believe the Garmin. I'll keep on looking at my data and I'll make my determination on performance based on the way I feel, not based on the numbers that I'm getting through Garmin Connect. Until next time, this is the Emerging Runner.